Hey, man, it's Bill. Nino just stopped by and dropped off the MUC tape, uh, so I've got it. I was going through some old tapes in my, my little man cave, and I came across a tape that Bill had done with uh, you, Jeff, about 40 years ago. Mixed punk, McKenzie DJ, University of Maryland. It's been not played, and it's been long gone for 20, 30 years, and then all of a sudden, bam, I found it. This was how we met. This was how you and I met. You were listening to my radio show. You were listening, and you actually called me up, and, uh, you know, we developed a friendship that way, uh -huh. you know, and, and I had you come in and do the programming. You can hear some talking in the background. We've got a full studio here, and... Uh, Talk in the background. Tell me you <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> I couldn't even uh, control myself night, then. Saturday nights and my special guests, Bill McKenzie. And Bill is a longtime fixture on the local scene, so why don't you come on over here and say hey. Hello. <laughs> so, well, uh, you brought a lot of neat things from your collection, I see. Who, who are we going to hear from first? Uh, the Damned. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, I must you just, I just... I let you be the DJ. I just turned you over. I just turned it over. Yeah. To you. Well, my show. It was a three-hour show. Moods for Moderns was on 7 p.m. till 10 at 10 p.m. And then the other side, with Joe Brooks and Mike Dawson, was from uh, 10 p.m. till 1 a.m. Yeah, because it did say uh, there right. until one. Right. Hey, this is Moods for Moderns, and welcome back. It's a little before nine o'clock. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, that was what's. And you're just uh, and something that I said. Black Flag with TV Party. Stains. John Wayne was a Nazi. Any Posty with no government. UK Subs with Warhead. The Dead Kennedys, Moral Majority. Germs Media Blitz and the Damn Love Song. Do you remember actually being on the radio? Yes. Uh, I remember being in the studio uh, with, with you and talking about things. You got anything particular you want to say about these? Uh, Bands like the Stains. Yeah, they're pretty uh, wild. They get, they're um, <laughs> they don't on stage. They don't like people getting up and taking away any of their time, like getting up on stage and doing stage dives or anything. So they get real physically violent and with anybody that tries <laughs> to get on stage. Did, yes. Did you see them perform? No. Nah. You just heard nah, about. It. I just yeah. heard about. It. I talked to the guy, a couple of people in the band, and uh, Henry was telling me Henry and Black Flag that that they don't appreciate it much. Really. You had a good show. I mean, everybody, you had a good audience, even though that ten bandwidth watts. Yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. go very ten far. Watts. That station was 10 watts. Yes. But we yeah. you could listen to it, but you had to... But see, I lived in Hyattsville at that time. Uh -huh. So it was close. We you could, could get it. You could hear us a lot closer. This sounds great. So how is Henry doing? Henry, of course, uh, Henry Garfield, now with SOA. I mean, I'm sorry, now with Black Flag, was an SOA, and... Um, you're very friendly with him. So mm -hmm. how are things going? How are things going with he and the band? And uh, he's enjoying the hell out of it, having a blast. And so how, he's been with them several months now, I guess. Yeah, about three or four months. Why don't you relate to the audience how Henry <laughs> got involved with that? He just was at a party? and Well, they, they were just up here, and uh, the, the, they played, when they played Met March, and uh, they saw SOA play at a party like the next night and enjoyed him, and tested him out and they liked him and they decided to ask me if he wanted to join the band and he accepted. That's great. Why did he change his name to Henry Rollins? Uh, I don't know why he changed his name but the Rollins is just a joke that he used to have with Ian of Minor Threat when they were a kid. Really? Yeah, yeah. they used to, um, whenever anybody would do something or have, or something would happen, they'd always blame it on Bill Rollins. <laughs> And uh, that's where he got the, the violence from. I don't know why he changed his name totally. I'm surprised you don't have any tapes of you back in those days. I have oh, some. You do. I do have some. But you would think you would tape every one, especially right. something like this. Where yeah. A, a, you know, just yeah. a guest. And, uh -huh. and, and to have him telling the story, to have Bill telling the story of Saturday Night Live like a month after it happened. Right. Look out right now, man! 